John here from Remotify.io. In this video, I'll show you three ways to install MIDI remote scripts into any version of Ableton Live. The first two are manual ways to do it, and the third way walks through how to set up Control Surface Studio so you can do one click installation of your custom MIDI remote scripts. Firstly, you will need to download the MIDI remote script and unzip it if needed. I have an example script on my computer, which I will unzip. After doing that, I now have the MIDI remote script folder. Inside that is the Python files for the script. We will be putting this folder into various locations inside Ableton Live, which will make the script appear as an option in Ableton Live's control surface menu. Since version 10.1.13 of Ableton Live, it has been possible to add MIDI remote scripts via the Ableton Live browser. To do it this way, open the user library and add a new folder named Remote Scripts. You can then drop the MIDI remote script into this folder. Close and reopen Ableton Live. Then open the Link, Tempo and MIDI tab, which is in the Settings menu in Live 12 or the Preferences menu in previous versions. You will then see the MIDI remote script as an option in the list of control surfaces. The script is now installed, but you still need to configure it to be used with your MIDI controller. First, make sure your controller is connected to the computer, then select it in the Import and Output menus. Then you'll need to check the appropriate boxes for Track, Remote and Sync for both the Input and Output ports of the script. Track allows MIDI notes and CC messages to be sent and received. Sync enables MIDI clock syncing between Ableton Live and the MIDI controller. Remote allows the MIDI controller to remotely control parameters within Ableton Live. Unless otherwise stated by the creator of the script, checking track and remote for both input and output are what you should do here. Although this method usually works, we've had reports from people that the MIDI remote script doesn't show up in the preferences menu. So I'll now go through another way that you can install it. The second method is slightly more complicated, but consistently works for all Ableton users. This time, we will put the script in the folder where all of the other default MIDI remote scripts that come with Ableton Live are stored. This location is different depending on if you're using Windows or Mac. For Windows users, Open Explorer and go to this location on your computer. You can then drop the script into this folder. For Mac users, open Finder and locate the Ableton Live application. This will typically be in your Applications folder. Right click on it and select Show Package Contents in the context menu. Then navigate to Contents, App Resources, MIDI remote scripts. Then you can drop the script into this folder, then close and reopen Ableton Live. The script will appear in the list of control surfaces and you can then follow the same configuration options which I explained in method one. If you've used Control Surface Studio to create your own custom MIDI remote script, installing it into Ableton is done with a single button press. First, you'll just need to configure the settings, so here's how to do it. Open the App Settings menu, open the File Browser for the Ableton Live application location, find your installation of Ableton Live on your computer, select it and click Open. This automatically populates the live version folder location and MIDI remote script folder location. You can see that the MIDI remote script folder location is now set to the same place as what we used for method 2 inside the resources folder. If 
Finally, you just need to select the live version which you are using and the Python version is automatically selected for you. Then click save and that's it. If I open one of my custom scripts in the editor and click generate script into Ableton Live, the MIDI remote script is automatically generated by Control Surface Studio and installed directly into Ableton. I just need to reopen Ableton. Then the script will be available in the Control Surfaces menu. Scripts created by Control Surface Studio are automatically prefixed with CSS underscore. This is done to prevent the default MIDI remote scripts from being accidentally overwritten. When I select the script, an alert appears at the bottom telling me that my script is now active. After configuring all of the options, my custom script will work with my MIDI controller. This is a super simple script which has two mappings. The first knob controls the selected track's volume and the second knob controls the track selection. MIDI remote scripts give you the ability to add powerful functionality to your MIDI controller, which can't be mapped using Ableton Live's internal mapping mode alone. Control Surface Studio enables you to build custom MIDI remote scripts packed with your own totally custom mappings for any MIDI controller and without needing to write a single line of Python code. Go to remotify.io to learn more about creating your own custom MIDI remote scripts with Control Surface Studio.